Hi guys, so welcome back to Design Code. My name is Sourasit and today video we're going to talk about UI and UX inspiration. Before I begin, I would like to say thank you so much Mobin to sponsoring this video. They helped me make this video and share my honest opinion and design tip with you. Mobin is amazing because they have true design based on real research. And I will explain you why Mobin is my top favorite for UI and UX inspiration. So if you like design, you should check out what they have. So this design is inspired by Mobin and I will show you how I come up with this idea. And the question is, why not go to the website, download the app and take screenshot? Well, not everyone know all the app and website out there. You know, they have got plenty web and app and I don't know where to look at. And with Mobin, I don't have to waste my time. By example, I want to create a, a website about shopping app, but I don't know all the app or I don't know all the websites. So I have to do some research on my own. And with Mobin, I just have to type and the search field type shopping and you will find what you need. And you can find everything faster by choosing which platform you want to design for. So you have iOS, Android, and web. So it's very helpful for designer to know how to design with each platform, get line, how to know the user expectation. And we know that iOS, Android, it's very different. In this example, this is the YouTube music app for Android and iOS. You can see that the model windows is different, like the typography, the size, the button, the colors. So it's very important to know the guideline of all the platform and also you can get inspired on Mobin to check how things is done. And also you can easily search and filter what you need by category and by UI pattern or type of page you must understand UI pattern because it's the basic of design element. It's like learning the language of design. And this element are used across many apps because they are familiar to user. And since I start using Mobin, I do not longer take screenshot because, because right now they have a plugin that you can find in Figma community, which allow you to copy and paste your inspiration directly into your Figma file. Amazing, right? Every design start with a spark of inspiration and the best way is to explore the other designs. So let's go on mobbing.com. I will show you how I find my idea. First of all, you have to choose which platform do you want to design for. And today I really want to do a web design. Then you have to think about what kind of website do you want to do. And my idea, it's like a marketplace that user can buy and sell. And the page that I'm going to design with you is going to be the error section. The error section is the first thing user will see when they go to your website. This includes an error image. It can be an image, animation, a video, or illustration. Also with a big title and a short description, you can bring user what is your product what do you have to offer okay now type arrow section and you will see other inspiration for the arrow section i really like this one from rive i like the idea of the gradient color for the title so it's a good idea so we're gonna copy this and now let's go find some more idea Okay, I have another one that kept my attention from Shopify and I like the idea of how they place the content and also I like the idea of square background. So I'm going to take this idea and I'm going to copy this. I know idea from Rive. So I like the idea of the blur color in the middle. I'm going to combine this idea with the background 
with a square background and we're gonna try to do something nice. Okay, now I'm going to type shopping. I just want to see if I can find another interesting idea. And I like it from, from Uwaru. Okay, so I like the idea of the big title. So we're going to play with typography. We're going to play with the size, the font. And I like how they place the content. The, the credit card and the floating card next to it. So I'm going to copy this idea. And the point of to find inspiration is not to copy, but to combine many ideas and come up with a different one. So now we are ready to get started, but before that, you, you must have the design code UI kit from Figma community. You will have access to the free version, which means that you cannot have the full and you cannot add the library directly into your Figma file. So you have to go directly in the original file and copy, then paste in your page. So we're going to start with create a frame for the presentation. And we're going to add a gradient color. Then we're going to create another frame inside and change the size and fill with a okay we're gonna center it and we're going to round the corner to 20 and add drop shadow okay now we need a navigation bar so go to design code ui kit and go to the menu section so select the navigation menu so copy Select the dark one, it's for the dark mode, and pass inside the frame. Place it at the top. And to exit the component, we have to detach and stand. So right click and click on detach and stand. And then we're going to remove the minimum and maximum width and increase the width and center it, place at the top. Then go to Auto Layout. We're going to change the property. For the horizontal padding, we're going to set to 60. And for the horizontal padding, we're going to set to 20. And I want to add a search fill. So you will see that they have four type of size you have small medium large extra large that you can change easily and the component property so i'm going to keep medium put inside and the layout so now go and new layer and we're going to place the shirt inside the button container but now i want my menu to be in the middle so i have to take the logo inside so it will become three container inside the parent container. Now we're going to change the content for the logo. So I'm just going to go with Apple <laughs> because my nickname is Pum, which is Apple in French. Okay, and now we're going to change the menu. So it's going to be buy, sell. And for the other one, it's going to be how it work. So we're going to copy the button and duplicate two times. Shortcut for this is Command and C and Command V to copy and to pass. So we can still see the border. So we're going to remove it. Also, we're going to remove the fill. Now we need a separator. Instead of doing it from scratch, I'm going to take it from the UI kit. Go to the typography section and you will find it. I'm going to select the second one, then paste to your design. So we're going to place at the bottom and then I'm going to change the width size to the same width size of the navigation bar. Select the navigation bar and the separator, then press on shift plus A to add a auto layout. Go to auto layout property and set zero to the gap between item. Okay, now I'm go back to UI kit and we need a big title. So we're gonna go to layer, we're gonna change it to dark. 
But now we're gonna change the font. We're gonna use the Playfair display. And we're gonna keep the size to 60 and semi bold. And then we're gonna change the title. I will select the text block and scratch the width size until my title is become in two line instead of three. Okay, now we're gonna change the content inside the text block. Next step, we're gonna select the button at the top of the title. And I want my symbol to be on the left. Okay, I'm gonna change the content. And now I'm gonna change the icon into diamond. And also we can change the component into dark. And also, if you don't like the button, we can choose a different one. And this is the button that I use for my design. So for the element that we cannot use in the UI kit. So in my Figma file, you will have access to my original design, typography, colors, images, layout, and background. Okay, so we're gonna take the finance, the transaction, and the cell card and bring it inside the frame. Select the text block and move it up. And the spacing from the navigation bar is gonna be 80. The inspiration, we're gonna place exactly the same thing. The credit card in the middle and the two floating card next to it. But what I'm gonna add is two image behind. Next, we're gonna add the background. So I want the blur color to be behind the cards. So we are done with this one. And also you can add your personal touch. Okay, so next we're going to duplicate the design, but we're going to remove everything and we're going to take this and the navigation bar. So we're going to add an auto layout and then the gap between item is going to be zero. Okay, and make sure to center it and place it at the top. I'm going to rename it. Next, we need the item card. And now I'm going to duplicate four times. And I'm going to select everything and add in another auto layout. Then go to auto layout property and set to 20. Duplicate again. And add in another auto layout. Okay, and the horizontal padding, I'm going to set to 60. We're going to resize the frame to the same width of the frame and make sure to center it and I'm going to place at the top. So my padding is not working. We have to click the chai container inside the parent container and we have to change the resizing frame to fill container and then we have to set to auto. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing with the other. And we're gonna learn more about auto layout in another video. And then we're going to add the size menu. And I'm gonna place at the top and the left. That's it. So when we have the component that already done, is super fast. So UI kit, it's very helpful. And now your homework, you're going to take the design that we did together. You're going to turn it into a light mode. And don't forget to share and tag me. I really want to see your work and I will be happy to give you some feedback. So we are done for today. I hope that you like and enjoy the video. So I will see you soon for a next design inspiration. And this time we're going to design a iOS design together. So see you very soon. Bye.